Hi Rod with Terracom here. I'm just going to explain a typical phone system that we install. Uh, your site may look different, it may be a little bit of a different phone system, but I just thought while I'm here at this particular site that I might as well do a quick video on the different components of the phone system and how they work. So this phone system is a Panasonic NS700. Uh, sometimes we put in the NS700 or the NS1000. The NS700 is a smaller system. The NS1000 is a large one. Uh, right here we have the main cabinet. So this top cabinet here is the main one. Uh, we can see different cards that go in these slots. Like see here's a door phone card. Uh, we have a couple of door phones connected to it. This is the PRI phone line. So this is the most important cable in the whole system. This is the main phone line that goes back and supplies all of these phones with phone line. And then we have a couple other ports like uh, this one here, it says MCSLC 16. So that's a 16 port uh, analog phone card that's used for usually fax lines or resident analog phone lines. And then here we have a DLC eight card that's for eight digital phone lines, which is used for either uh, desk extensions or cell stations, then a few other ones. At this particular site, we're doing a lot of resident phone lines where the facility becomes the phone company for the resident. So if you look at these other cabinets, we have uh, another analog phone card, and then here's another one analog 16, 16, 16. So these are all 16 phone lines. And then this here is another DLC-8. I'm pretty sure this site, these are being used for cell stations for wireless phones. The reason I can tell is at this site, we're actually using IP phones for the desk phones, not digital phones. So this network switch here and all these white cables, these are actually going back to uh, phones, IP phones. So you can see all these are labeled nicely. I think Shaw actually did this work for us back to where the phones are. And then you can see right here, Here's the link from this network switch back to the phone system so that the IP phones can get the information. So that's about it for the phone system. Uh, you should never have to power cycle it. If you do, call Terracom, just don't do that on your own. And all these systems always have a software platform. This just so happens to be right here. So this is actually a web page that the system's uh, connected to. And right when you connect to it, you can see it kind of looks the same thing as the phone chassis themselves. So you can see, for example, the PRI card for the main PRI phone line, and then the digital, the uh, analog card for the residents, the digital card, and I can even choose the sub chassis. So I hover over this and hit select shelf, and now I'm on shelf number two. And if you look, it says there's an SLC 16 and a DLC eight. And if we go down here, indeed, yes, there's an SLC 16 and a DLC eight card. So. That's another uh, good thing for troubleshooting. You can go in here and see the different uh, devices that you have. So once again, I'll talk a little bit about this PRI line. So this PRI line, this is your main phone line into the building for all the residents, all the phones. Shaw or Telus, what they put in is they put in a device like this. So this is the Shaw PRI converter. So into this becomes uh, Shaw's regular coax cable. And then out of it, it turns into an ethernet cable, which we've converted back here actually, into just one of our blue cables, just to make it look good. And so that's the main connection. I've actually seen sometimes where this device has been unplugged or the power cord's been loose and the phone lines in or out don't work. The phone lines inside will work properly because the phone system's all self-contained inside, but they won't be able to do any outbound calls or inbound calls. So make sure that this Shaw device is on and let's see if we can get a shot of the lights there to show what the lights should look like. So it looks like we all got all green lights. You know, it looks like there's maybe one orange light there saying that there might be an issue with the battery in here or something or the UPS, but you wanna make sure this is on and all these lights are on like that. So that's about it for this phone system. Thank you.